And on top of that, we got a very special guest, Miss Christina Manai, all the way from Alberta party and we have a liberal leading party and so when elections come around for us it's actually quite similar you have polarizing camps that happen and i see that happening in the states as well and i media outlets i think want to keep the masses in a passive position i think we absolutely do way too much blame but the part that we don't a lot of the times take responsibility for we consume too much of it Oh man, like you can tell me all about Mario Kart, but you can't tell me what kind of bird that is. I don't know how I feel about that, kiddo. <laughs> Thank you. Can we clap it up real quick for Chris? Oh, 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 you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> because they are consuming a lot on a daily basis. A lot of children are not interacting with their parents. I do try my best to monitor certain things, but certain things just get in. It's, <laughs> I mean, um, they're watching something, they, all the kids know all these dances, and so I'm like, how do you, I feel like my parents, like, how do you know that? How, how did you learn that? Been worse? Would social media been worse? If, they, if social media, we grew up with social media, would it be worse than what we getting right now?